ladies and gentlemen, it's so nice to travel well. with you, Ilmo. You're such a good company. Really? Absolutely. And do you know what the best thing is? Um, my scintillating conversation? No, there's something that's even better. With you, there are never any cat fights. <sighs> really? You, uh, we've been sitting here for about five, ten minutes or so. Nothing out of you two. Awful weather. Uh, okay. And she keeps going, isn't she? I heard that Rorikstead is the best soil in all the sky. Are we in Rorikstead? I know we're in the Frostfruit Inn. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Frostfruit Inn. If I'm not mistaken, that is in Rorikstead. I remember off the top of my head. Yes, it's in Rorikstead. But, yeah. Welcome back. Um, uh, there actually wasn't any damages due to Filch's table dancing. Barkeep said, as long as she doesn't break anything, we're fine. But, uh, maybe you want to keep her from breaking stuff. But, yeah, we just stopped in for a drink, some food. Maybe we got the rain a little. Strange. It's been a long time since uh, my last video. I do apologize for that. I'm just, yeah. Things have been busy around here lately. It's been a bit. The first time I visited the I like your rooms. Are you a sorcerer from the cottage? <sighs> Never gonna get the end, hear the end of that, am I? <sighs> uh, yeah. Anyways, there's been no mod updates, no mod changes, haven't really done that. I probably need to go through and update my mods, but it's about, if I last count, there's something like 286 files, and I really don't feel like doing that right now. It's I'd probably have to take a day, most of a day, to go update them. So I've been if kind you find of one of those pretty circlets, could you please keep them for me? It would be fun to have my own collection. Um, certainly, Vilya, certainly. You know, why don't we get going, guys? What is on your mind? Let's you lead, going. I follow. Yeah, put on the armor. I wonder if any relatives of Ragnar the Red are still living here. If so, they're not exactly bragging about it. Hmm, guess I can understand why. Yeah, oh right, Ragnar the Red. What's on your mind, Red? I forgot about that little song. Of course. Mm. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Ah, uh, loading screens. Oh, right. What time was it? I kind of forgot... Y you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy, but I kind of forgot it was getting dark down here, and that's one of the main reasons we stopped in the end. Yeah, sorry. Um... Speaking of... <clears throat> Elk. I think I wouldn't forget a thing like that, wouldn't you? Well... You know, Fred, I like being together with you. Why, thank you. I enjoy your company too, Lilia. Good idea. And you relax, try to stay off the tables. Here to go. Shall we take a seat or are we leaving? <sighs> yeah, let's see... My... I am all ears. Let's see, wanna relax? Why not? Let me know when you are ready to move on. Roger, roger. <sighs> Daughters are growing up fast, Lincoln. Seems like only yesterday they were newborn babes. They've grown all right. Lazier and more stupid. Yeah. There's times I think you're the coldest man in Skyrim. This is your old flesh and blood you're talking about. Did you know 
know that Rorik was sort of a hero during the Great War. But uh, then he almost got killed, and Johan Manet saved his life. Mm, interesting. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Yeah, I was only thinking of real running coins, around. No handouts and no bar trades. Uh, I'd like You're a run, right. please. Sure thing. None of your business. It's yours for a day. How about you keep your nose it sounds out like we're having a bit of domestic trouble back there. Any interesting rumors lately? Have you seen the shrine of Azura? They say the dark yeah, yeah. built it after they like fled from about raising children. This thing overlooks the college. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thank you. And I hope there's more than one bed. There's three of us. I, I, we can set up some... Let me know oh, if there's, there's anything else. Two beds. Have you read any good books lately? Nah, I don't think so. Let's have a chat. See if we can. How can I argue with that? Let's see. Here you go. Sure. Hey, What's on your mind? What's that on yours, actually? <laughs> I'm remembering the first time I got drunk. I awoke the next day with a shaved tail and an ear full of goat cheese. Yeah. It was quite the night. <laughs> that does sound like quite the night. Are you going to join me? Take a seat. Mm. There's no seats in here. <sighs> well, I think Dan is probably going to see you guys in the morning. Sorry. Morning. Morning. It's, looks like Julia and Indigo are already out. Is it still <laughs> raining out there? Sorry, I was just thinking about spiders. They are so satisfied to squash. Oh, spiders. spider caves. The webs get to my hair. Yeah, it's the least of my concerns. It is a small price to pay. There is very little more enjoyable than a bit of spider slaying. Ugh, that's disgusting. I'm with Vilja on this Julia, one. Yeah, come on. Do you not enjoy the noises they make when you hit them? No. Me? Definitely not. Okay, do not worry. I will happily take care of any spiders we meet. It is a hobby of mine. I'll hold you to that, Indigo. You know that? Okay, time for a bit of breakfast. Um, what do we got? Oh, we're a little low on the food department, and all we have is stew. And some bread, of course. Let's see. We could probably do with some... <sighs> Water and some food. Excuse me. You're up. You're up early in the morning, Barky. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. Oh, where's the fun in that? I mean, bartering and haggling, that's, that's some of the most fun thing of shopkeeping. Take a look. Not fine. Um... Well, we got a lot of soups. Um... Got a couple loaves of bread. Let's buy some meat. Okay, I think I'll take a couple bottles of milk, and uh, we are going to probably need a few bottles of mead. I'll take a couple bottles of ale for the road. And uh, can you do me a favor and fill me, fill these water bottles for of me? Of course. Thank you. See ya. <sighs> still raining. Still raining. How can it still be raining? It's just raining all night. 
this is one of the most pleasant par I don't parts of Skyrim. Ball, I can't blame you. I'd imagine that'd be even more unpleasant for a woman than it would be for a man. All that unwanted attention. Now, um... Where is my Khajiit? There's my Khajiit. What is on your mind? Let's get going, Indigo. I guess I better stand up then. Yeah, your legs have had all the rest they're gonna get for today. I think. Who knows? Who knows what the road ahead is? No, I'm good. You have? Yes? No, I have not forgotten about the of ingredients. Course. What is it? Okay, uh, just between you and me and to go, I totally forgot about the ingredients. Rain. Yeah, I should probably store some stuff on my horse's backpack. Um, question. Convenient horses. I've forgotten what I'd find the keys for. Do horse inventory. I. My money's on the big one. What's going on? Uh-oh. Alright. I don't know what's up. What is going on? Oh, bandits! Bandits are attacking the village. Okay, okay, we can handle this. You made a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just helped you guys defend your village from bandits. I'm My father, grateful. Rocky, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. Yeah, thank you. Um. Huh. I don't suppose you guys. Huh, Jim. Have anything for my troubles. Seriously, can you believe that? We walk straight out of the inn, and they're attacked by in the village is attacked by bandits. Small no, dragon to attack my But when Why? it is heavy, Why it is sometimes no place safe. My ears. My ears do not enjoy the snow as much as I do. Ugh, I hate snow. That's easy for you to say. I hate the rain. It ruins my hair completely. Oh cool, we got a wolf. Look over there. Barrel plate. Ow! 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 Okay, you're heavy. Oh. Look over there. Seriously. See the wolves? Yeah, I noticed the wolf after you killed it. Seriously. That's trouble. Runic spellbinder armor. Or spellbinder runic armor. Very interesting stuff. Very mystical looking. And very imperial. It's not gonna stand a candle to Vilya's ebony armor. Let's just get out of here. Before I have any more blood on my ro mage robes. Uh, is that my horse? Yes. Hi, you're a good girl. Come on, let's go. to do that every time. I think uh, Bruce just ran for the hills when bandits showed up and started fighting. And, ew, okay. Better change the third person before I get nauseous. Yeah. Uh, okay, can we now try? I think I need to find the key. 
Oh, great. More bandits! More bandits! Get, get out of here! Seriously, bandits! Leave this village alone! Think so? Good work, guardsmen. Your services are well paid. I hope they're well paid, actually. You're, you deserve it. A coin. Ah, in you go. I am here for you. Um, I, need to I trade will a bear bit. your burdens gladly. Don't really need to trade that much. I'm just curious what your armory and your cross is. I doubt it. This stuff, this yeah, high wave mail is any good. Whoa! What is this? Look at it. it. Looks to be a Dwemer device of some description. Looks like this bandit was using it as a bludgeoning instrument. I can probably guarantee this is not the intended purpose of that. Dwemer War Axe? Eh, guess you guys raided a Dwemer Ruin recently. What's the armor rating of that? 125. Okay, that's actually better than what Indigo's got. Apparently. And let's try the scale boots. Okay. A little over and covered. What is on your mind? Stuff. Armor. What is yours Hopefully is upgraded. mine. Alright, what boots do you got? Hunter's boots. 45. Versus the scale boots, which are 45. Okay, so just a matter of personal taste. Hunter's boots, weight 2. Scaled boots, weight 2. Value 70. Hunter boots are more valuable. I think I'll sell them at the next town we run into. And they're basically the same as the scaled boots, so why not? And I'll lighten your load, Indigo. How's that? Ah. If you need anything else, hey, just there ask. There you go. Better armor. Ah. <sighs> I hope the rest of our journey isn't this eventful. <sighs> I see bandits waiting in ambush on the road. Okay, I don't... You know, the funny thing is, I just stopped recording just up that hill, just like 20 steps back. And we're already running into bandits. Uh, apparently this is the bandit road. Oh, and I uh, got my key hotkeys sorted out and uh, stored some stuff on my horse. Alright, put on the Murukai, because it looks like this is not going to be a peaceful morning. Oh, I'm sure they could be pop really friendly, but, you know, I doubt it. Excuse me, did you notice I was here? Yes. Never should have come. Okay! Alright, do I have... Yeah, that was... Sorry, Vilya! Didn't mean to catch you on that. You're a dangerous bastard, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, thought so. Bandit. You die. Yeah. Bandit. Oh, circlet for Velia, I suppose. A Valenwood Warbow. 
Looks very pretty. And some sort of whammer weapon. These guys must have ran into a um, stash of whammer weapons. Okay, what's up with you guys? Need something? You could try. Let's see if you can find Red Guard. Yeah. Uh, seriously, yeah, it, it's it, that early in the morning, they're just not awake, they just haven't had their, uh, morning breakfast. Thought I heard something. You did! Oh, Couple I of adventurers fighting you. your pals! Anything in this treasure chest? Alright. Glamour sword. Glamour, uh, two-handed greatsword. I doubt that's as strong as the blade of Malakath, but... Yes? What do you want? Oh, just want to compare blades. Of course. See if the, um... You know, Vilya, I've kind of gotten you loaded down with junk, don't I? Eastern doesn't even compare. And you know what? Yeah, let me lighten your load a bit, quite a bit. Let's see. Let me see if I can just offload some of the extra junk you're carrying around. Ebony Kuros, so you don't need that Kuros or that Kuros. You got boots and gauntlets, so you don't need those. And you're using the Orcish Helmet, so you don't need that. And the Wolf Shield is far better than that. Okay, anything? Seriously, I've been terrible about uh, bag one. Yeah, I'll take that. And uh, bag two. I was for selling. Uh, All right, thank you. Uh, seriously, I have you guys loaded down with junk. What can I? I do for you? We can have the horses at least carry that. What would you have me do? Yes. Oh, sorry. I am here for you. I wasn't actually paying attention. I was trying to... Pooling our resources. Yeah. Pull off some of the spare junk that you guys are carrying around. Just so... Yeah, plenty of potions. I'll leave your books alone. I'll take the firewood off of you and put it on the What's horse. What's next? Horse! Oh. Yeah, that's from Achieve That. I just, uh... Got a deal for a, a quote unquote achievement for hoarding. <laughs> Stuff. Uh, here, have this tent, have this firewood, and. Orcish armor, steel plate armor. And several Dwemer weapons. And a Daedric hammer. <sighs> I mean, it is a very impressive hammer, it's just that, well, yeah, I think if I try, I'd have a struggle picking the thing up without falling over. Um, oh, Vilya. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Ah, certainly, Vilya. Tell me, what's on your mind? I think the Skyrim Hawkers are pathetic. Workers. You should see the ones we have. Oh, those are those things on the coast, are aren't really they? They are really scary. Oh. Yeah. I'll have to take your word for it. Of course. Lilia, you mentioned you wanted to collect circlets. There's one for you there. Shall we continue? Yes, let's. Right. Let's see now. Um, according to the map, I'll remove marker. Yeah, if you guys might have forgotten. Um, yeah, we're after a, um, after, well, no, not, well, we're after information on these dragons that are showing up everywhere. And our crazy lady, Side, don't collide. Now, so hide. 
Glad to see you're having fun, Indigo. Glad to see you're having fun. Did understand you I was good? Yeah, you scared off a wolf. Congratulations. I'll be really impressed if you manage to scare off a dragon or something. <sighs> More bandits. <sighs> Glad I didn't take off the mask. Yeah. Let's go show... I don't know if we're gonna get any information out of the Thalmor. Oh, you guys are blocking the road and look like you're going to attack me, so... Yeah, since we're going up against bandits, it'd probably be worth... Frostbite? And then Ice Spike. Hi! Uh, I'm not preparing my spells to kill you or anything at all. Ow. And it's... I hear him. Don't you think so? Is that a armored skirt? Yep, armored skirt. Yep. These bandits are even more desperate. Dead. <laughs> no. Sorry, Bill. You will fix me. Uh -oh. Nice Did shot, Indigo. Face? Is that a glass dagger? I see. Hmm. Apparently, but I can't get it for some reason. Whoa, Elven Shield of Blocking. Impressive. And a glass sword. Any more of them? What was that? Ha -ha! What the? An invisibility spell. That's... You... Oh, Vilia! Um... Do, do, do. Magic. Illusion spells. Vilia. Vilia! All right, a bit of courage. All right, heal some wounds. Good work, Indy. Oh, wrong. I'm trying to heal the bandits. He had these guys had some enchanted gear, didn't they? Dwarven sword of despair. Hall wow, these guys are on a key. These guys are better equipped than your standard bandits, aren't they? <sighs> Black arrow. I already have that one. Hey, you want potion? Coin purse. Anything in the cupboard? Oh, a bedroll. Elven helmet. Yeah, I'm just worried about. Mm, a book I don't have. Yeah, I'm still worried about Indigo and wearing it. 
outfit to be, uh, well, found more. Oh, a hatch. Another key. Looks like the same exact key that I, uh, I picked off the bandit chief. How can I? There's a book there on the table. I'll get to it here in a minute. Uh, these guys were better equipped than your standard bandits. I mean, they were using enchanted weapons and armor. Well, a few of them are, anyways. Chee, huh. don't mind if I do. Empty tankard. Fifth of first seed. Fourth era, 201st year. Idiots, Broger and Hurd were at each other's throats again today, and nearly came to blows. The whole camp is on edge. I've ordered an extra ration of mead. But unless this fighting stops, we'll tear ourselves apart. Good to hear. Enough of you bandits. Be nice if you guys took care of yourselves for me. Eleventh of First Seed, Fourth Era, 201st year. Rumor that Herd's gathering a fo gathering followers for a mutiny. Brodeur's not stupid. He's probably doing the same, just for insurance. I'd kill them both, myself, but the camp split right down the middle. If I tried, there'd be a knife in my back within a week. I can't take this anymore. I've begun skimming a little gold from the take. Mm. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna make you popular. Bringing it down here when I can. If I can scrape enough together, I'll make a run for it. Head down river to Dragon's Bridge. That's a Nordic village. I'm sure a bandit chief would be real popular down there. 28th of First Seed. This is quite a few months back from the looks of it. Brodeur's getting suspicious. I caught him poking around the cave this afternoon. I don't think he's found my stash, but it's not safe here. I took the boat out tonight and stowed it on an island to the south by the old tree stump. Had a good haul this week. Another caravan or two and I can finally get out of here. Not a moment, too. So. Well, we've learned about a stash. He's had it here for months, though, so I guess he was holding out. I, I admit I want to chase the pretty light. I will resist. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me remove the temptation for you, Indigo. I don't suppose we can take the boat out, can we? Nope. 
just a static object. Okay. Let's see if we can find that stash. These magical items. Hey, at least the rainstorm stopped. Oh, those are useful. Yo, Whoops. idiot! How did you not notice we were there? Okay. Now a stump by an island. Ah, an emerald. Shut up, you stupid emerald. Uh, I will. Now, I saw an exit to that cave. How did I... Oh, good grief. Stendar must be looking out for me for that kind of luck. Now, he said island by an old stump, and I saw an exit to the cave. Ah, there we are. Across the river there, I think we might... That might be... Shallow enough, I won't get wet. Uh, you got anything for me? Nope, just an arrow in your sh pelvis and a few ice spikes. Ice spikes, not ice. <laughs> Tongue's all tangled up. I see you. But slaughterfish scales. See? Don't pick up smelly old boots. I'm definitely not going to wear them. Yeah, I'll only pick them up if they're better than what you currently got, Bill. I see a chest. Let's see. Ooh, lavender. Useful. Uh, and the key doesn't fit it. Of course it doesn't. And I don't think magic-wise I can open it. I'm going to try. <sighs> but I don't think I can. No. <sighs> okay. It was worth a shot. Right, guys? Alright, well, we got the slaughter fish scales that we need for Vilia. It's an ingredient list. Alright, if I remember right, we were trying to get a bottle open, right? Oh, hi, beast! Uh, my condolences, Indigo decided to call you back. Where is my horse? Horsey! There are you? I really should have a name for my horse. I just, I just can't decide on it. Looks like a couple of saber cats over there. Bandits never wash. I can usually smell them a mile away. Yeah. So where did these guys get so many magical artifacts? It must have been some good breeding. These things are deceptively dangerous. For a 
HD lantern. Okay, I have no idea where my horse went. Uh, I know what to do, though. Let's see... Power... Whistle to Indigo... Uh, let's see... Horse call! Which magically teleports my horse here. Uh, you know, I did not... You know what? I don't think I pay 500 gold for that horn. Was I think that was underpriced for as useful as this magical horse horn is. I mean, seriously, 500 gold for a horn that allows you to magically summon your horse from wherever in Skyrim. I mean, that is amazingly useful enchantment. Maik once walked to High Hrothgar. So many steps, he lost count. May yeah. you walk on warm sands. <laughs> Thanks, Maik. Uh, let's see. Since the weather's so nice, I'm going to take off my the hood. Some lazy tags did. My mass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to take my horse, if you don't mind. I like traveling the roads, really do. <sighs> Get so many interesting things happening. <sighs> just the wind, just the wind, Dandry. I could have sworn I just heard a noise that sounded like the flap of a dragon's wing. Looks like something hit this caravan. Anything in this horse's pack? No, not really. What's this? Arrow. Oh. Looks to be made out of an insect's carapace. The Dun I know the Dunmer do that with their girls. Looks to be what killed them. Well, the Dun. Hi! I'm investigating a crime scene. Do you mind going away? They're everywhere. Thank you. Journal. Let's have a look see at that in a minute. <laughs> eh, don't mind me. Casually leaving the dead. Uh, Alright. Let's keep a lookout. I'm gonna have a read on this journal. I begged my husband not to go, but he wouldn't listen. He said if he delayed the shipment another week, the Legion would find somebody else to take it south. Let them keep their blasted money. The road to Whiterun is dangerous these days. No kidding. I mean, how many bandits attacks have I gone through just today? Everyone knows it. So many caravans have been attacked, so many travelers vanished into thin air. Some say it's only bandits, but there are rumors of worse. Goblins, ghosts, witches. Twenty years I've been buried now, and I can't bear the thought of losing him. I'm not letting him go alone, not this time. We live or die together. Mara preserve us. <sighs> That's sad. I'm trying to remember. I know what did this. Immediately, just looking at the arrows. These are Falmer arrows, but I'm 
I... Yeah, Dandry has run into the Falmer back in that Dwemer ruin, so yeah. It looks like Falmer did this. They must have done it at night. Because those things don't like coming out during the day. There must be a Falmer cave or ruin around here somewhere. Hmm, the worst thing than bandits on this road. Okay. Out into. Oh, in case you guys, some of you guys are wondering, some of you might not be aware of, you know, played Skyrim and are going. How on earth am I getting a first-person camera in uh, horseback in Skyrim? Uh, that's thanks to the... Ah, Vivian, what are you doing? <sighs> or more personally, Brusa, what are you doing? Uh, that's due to the first-person view mod. I forget its exact name, but it allows you to see your character's body in first-person. Uh, it's a due to that mod. Uh, I know it's somewhere in the mod list. I can't remember its exact name. I probably have to go look it up. Wow. Look at this bridge. It's ancient Nordic. I suppose I can... Now we know why this village is called Dragon's Bridge. Probably built when the dragons still ruled over Skyrim. Got hold banners telling you which hold is which. Now, what hold banner is that? I, think, I suppose that does. Yeah, that's the banner of Morthal, isn't it? Yeah. Must be. I didn't realize Morthal had its own hold banner. Ignorant me, I suppose. <sighs> Part of me's tempted to explore Dragon's Bridge a bit, but you know what? We gotta do got a job to do. Stupid as it might be, for as crazy a lady as it is. And another thing, it's warm, it's daylight. Let's get keep going. There it is, our goal, ladies and gentlemen, of all races, Solitude. The capital of Skyrim. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> the home of Imperium. The home no, of the Imperium. in Solitude. Let's hurry to the Bard's College. I can't wait to pick up on you. Oh, right, yeah, we got a lot of things to do here, don't we? There's the main gate. Uh, oh, that looks like a stable there, doesn't it? Capla's farm. Oh, that looks... Yeah, it looks like they sell horses and stable a few as well. Alright, stay here, girl. Let's see, I think it's that key. Oh, I forget what I set all my keys to. Main. Uh, let's see. Horse follow key. V. V is the key. The solitude people can't be eating alone. Adva seems to be working all the time. Just you can be really oh, I can't really blame them. I can... Indeed. Yeah, can't really blame them. I, I don't really care for the taste of fish, if I mean, to be honest. Alright, leave our horses here and head into solitude. Shh. <laughs>